Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Cast Addendum, another Things I'd Like to See video here. This time, sort of things I'd like to actually see happening come this too, somewhere in the near future, though probably not until after the tournament is over, but basically, I'd like to see some of these commanders get a bit of an update. I mean, there's an awful lot of sort of ability overlap between them. A lot of units sort of repeating, abilities repeating. Some of the later ones, like encirclement and elite troops, do stand out a bit more, but some of them just really don't offer a lot more. And in particular, when compared with some of the new commanders, they even offer abilities separately, which, you know, newer commanders, which someone get, you know, bunched together with extra stuff. I mean, it's not, of course, not just the Vam, it's also the Soviets. I mean, in fact, they have some abilities where there's some serious overlap. You got, what is it, conscript support here and Soviet Reserve Army. There's a lot of overlap there. You got, where is it? Uh, terror tactics and anti infantry, for example. Also, greater degree there of overlap. And that's sort of the thing there. I mean, there's a lot of abilities where there's. A lot of overlap abilities just repeating themselves quite a bit. Their units repeat themselves. I mean, there are numerous doctrines, for example, with shock troopers. I mean, there's th three, four, five, I think, maybe six, actually, six doctrines with shock troopers. Maybe more, actually. There could even be seven. But at least six doctrines with shock troopers. Dozens are, are numerous of them as well, with a KV-8. With the flame incendio strike, for example, a lot of repeats. There's also a bunch of guardsmen doctrines, for example, quite a few. And that's just only how it goes on there. And again, for the Wehrmacht, we've got command tanks being repeated quite a bit. We've got what is it? You know, the assault artillery officers also being repeated quite a bit. Fragmentation bombing runs, and like no one really used that one. Tigers also been quite repeated there as well. Command, well, I mean, command tanks. I mean. Also, of course, Pantactician, Reconnaissance Earth Flights. I mean, there's just so much ability overlap there. And I do think some work there could be done to, well, make them stand out a bit more. Also, give the Doctrine something a bit more of a sort of an identity. Something that makes them stand out a bit more. I mean, imagine, say, Spearhead, if I can locate it right away. There we go. Imagine, say, for example, you removed Pantactician and then gave the actual Spearhead mode for the tanks. You know, the one there's the King Tiger has, you know, locks down the church, gives increased range, but also suppression, for example. I mean, that would all of a sudden make that, you know, feel a lot more spearhead. Remove, say, the fragmentation bomb, then with a 250 half track, you can sort of build with a machine gun. All of a sudden, again, further sort of actual push towards a spearhead, right? It, it would be, you know, a bit crazy there, for example. How about festering armor? Where you might say, you know, replace... Oh, I don't know. Again, Pantactician would say you need a self-defense grenade that the Storm to you get said like veterans in one or two, and which basically no one uses, but perhaps is sort of more generally available. It might see a bit more usage as well. I mean, those are some thoughts there. Perhaps the command tank could replace with something else as well, something a bit more useful and interesting. Or railway artillery support. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of doctrines, well, not a lot, but some doctrines do possess that one, perhaps not, but still the command tank as well may be sort of a more regular Panzer IV command tank instead, with some different bonuses, perhaps a range bonus or actually bonus to units nearby, instead of, for example, something like that. I don't know, just something that makes it stand out as a bit more unique, something that fits the bell bill a bit better. Rather than what we have, they also cause a bunch with relief infantry. I mean, there's options they could place it with, maybe, say, an Inspired Assault ability, which boosts infantry firepower, but also makes it a bit more vulnerable, you know, a bit like the old Inspired Assault from Company Heroes 1. Defensive here, for example, you could smack together defensive fortifications, trench, and you can, in fact, do the, what the Obercommand of has, give it a flat emplacement, of course, fix it, and then give them an extra ability instead. You know, maybe the ability for Grenadiers to lay down sandbags and booby traps all of a sudden, Wow, this feels a lot more defensive, doesn't it? Mind blown, alongside that with the spearhead. Absolutely incroyable. Um, Jaeger armor, maybe replace the elephant with a yak panzer. Again, all of a sudden it stands out as a bit more, you know, interesting, a bit more different. Maybe replace the Stuka bombing strike with something else, because again, that's an ability that appears a lot of plays as well. Maybe do it here with St Storm Doctor, you know, maybe replace Ambush Camouflage with something else as well. Maybe friend some Stormtroopers there, Inspired Assault, throw out the Stuka bombing strike, replace it with, oh, I don't know what, maybe a Heavy Mortar. 
you know, I mean, that's an option as well. And then maybe for sort of elite troops throughout the Tiger Race, replace with the King Tiger, then given access to Orbital Darden. I mean, yeah, just to sort of ensure it's not all doctrines with Stormtroopers, just something a bit there as well, or maybe a sort of variant on Stormtroopers instead. And again, that's also another measure. You could do variant infantry. So, for example, you know, instead of just all shock troopers, you could have, say, sort of variants of the shock troopers, maybe. So, I mean, there's basically assault engineers, so maybe like a four man squad, but with a flamethrower instead, a shock engineers. Perhaps replace some of them with frontal vics, you know, conscript squads, but with full sight machine guns, access to grenades, and, oh, I don't know, a Panzerfaust. So, something they've stolen from the Germans. That could, for example, make counter attack tactics stand out a lot more, for example. That would be a good start. NKVD. A lot of abilities that also appear. Maybe, you know, throughout recon, or flight for a commissar. Or some kind of variant of that. Just an officer, maybe, instead. As an option. And, for example, you know, instead of some of all these bleeding KV-8s, you know, sneaking, I don't know, possibly some lend lease stuff from the Allies, let's say a Churchill tank or an M10 tank destroyer, instead. That could also very well... Be an option, or maybe some I don't know, Spetsnaz. Oh, they might have to do some voice lines for those. They could grab, you know, say the sniper skins, give them some other weapons, make them sort of like you know the commandos, have them sort of infiltrate and appear, you know, cause havoc. Just you know, more expensive than Parsons, and perhaps not quite assault troops. But on the other hand, let's say they could lay down booby traps, for example, mines and other nasty bits. All of a sudden, again, things stand out quite a bit more. That way, again, we got options. Just something to differentiate all of these commanders a bit more than what we've got. I mean, we've also got, you know, good ideas for some of the other, you know, newer allied commanders, which could, you know, be applied here. Maybe some more specific artillery types of barrages there for the Soviets. Or maybe some kind of, you know, armored commander, say, for armored assault, where, you know, T-34s fighting together get some kind of bonus. Maybe instead of the T-3035, they just, you know, get a bonus, the T-34s and 6s for fighting together. Or maybe some kind of special... Armor piercing round. Similar to the heat round, just maybe just penetration instead of just a damage bonus. All these thoughts there, you know, could be something that adds a bit more. And for example, the conscript support, maybe throughout the conscript assault package with, you know, a conscript line package where they get access to a pair of light machine guns, for example. Or single light machine gun, but then something else as well. Maybe a regular grenade. Just, again, thoughts to make them stand out a bit more because there's an awful lot of commanders for the Soviets, for the Wehrmacht, but there's an awful lot of repeating of abilities between them, and overall that just means there's only a few commanders that really stand out between them. A lot of them are just sort of deep overlap, and in some senses I think actually the Soviets suffer to a certain degree more from it than the Wehrmacht actually. So that's, I think, definitely something worth looking into for Relic, you know, once the whole tournament is over, they can actually you know, do some stuff there. I do think also, you know, besides having a harder look at the Wehrmacht, that overall looking at both, you know, commanders there, both sides' commanders would be pretty good, and overall something that would benefit the game strongly. And, if, you know, give it a bit more sort of go there. So I think that sort of rather covers it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little topic, my thoughts on it. If you have, you know, subscribe, like, share, talk about it. And of course, you know, if you'd like to see it happen, you know, maybe try and talk to Relag about it. This is Imperial Dane signing off, and see you all another time for another exciting video. Cheers!